What's up guys, it's Unders in this video. I'm going to show you how to do the auto-tune vocal effect in Logic Pro so you can put it into your music for effects like this. Do you want to get your music onto the likes of Spotify, Apple Music, even TikTok? Keep 100% of your earnings and get paid monthly if you choose? Get into those stores up to 20 times faster than some other distributors and do it all at a ridiculously low yearly price. Check out the channel sponsor, DistroKid. Okay, so let's have a little listen to this naked bit of vocal just here where we've used this kind of effect in this track. So without any effects on, uh, this is what we had with this cut. As you can hear, that doesn't really fit in with the track too much. So what we've done is I've basically put the pitch correction just here on and set it up how we need it uh, and given it a really fast attack time. And that helps us switch into this. So let's just deactivate that and I'll just show you how to set it up from scratch. It's dead simple. Hit upon here to add a new effect in. We go down to pitch within logic. We've got pitch correction. That is going to load up this guy for us. Now, at first you might think like to jump into your root note, but they're all blanked out. You actually need to select your scale first, which is over here on the right. Now this particular track is in G major pentatonic, meaning it's using just five notes of the G major scale. So over in scale, we need to then choose what we're going with. So we're going to go major pentatonic. It's really important that you know the scale that you want to conform to. By default, it snaps to C uh, and it's going to sound like this. It's even further off what we want. So we need to now change our root note to G and now it's going to start matching the tonality of our song. However, as you can hear, the timing's still a little bit off. So all I've done to get that instant robotic effect really is take the response time here down from the 122 all the way to zero in this case. Sometimes that might seem too fast and not do the effect you want. And you want to slowly gauge it up so that it starts to sound correct. But in this case, right the way down to zero gives the effect I wanted for that moment in the song. <laughs> And as you can hear, it now starts to match a lot more. If the vocal you're using has some lower tonality, over here on the left-hand side, switch it down into low, and it will help match the lower tones as well. Then also got octave on the right-hand side, which you can have some fun with. And that, guys, is as simple as it is. The only other thing going on with this vocal is a simple pull tech, which has got a bit of a boost and is lifting up the top end. So when we turn it back on, that's what we've got. Hope that video was helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for watching.